Welcome to Precision Weigh In Balances. In this video, we'd like to show you the Sartorius YDP 20 OCE printer. Now, this printer replaces Sartorius's prior model, which was the YDP 03 OCE. So, this is the older printer, no longer in production. And the new printer is right here. This is the Sartorius YDP 20 printer. The printer comes standard with a single roll of paper. It comes with the printer cable. Now the printer cable connects to any Sartorius balance that's outfitted with an RS-232 interface. This particular model is Sartorius's M-Power Basic Series and we have it connected to the printer. The printer also comes with one uh, ribbon cable. Now this is a this printer is not a thermal printer. A lot of printers in the laboratory industry are thermal printers and we'll discuss in a few minutes the benefits of going with an impact printer. The printer also is powered by the balance itself. So there's a power line going through this printer cable and there are four rechargeable batteries and I'll show you those rechargeable batteries. Those four rechargeable batteries, I've installed them already but they go right here and they come with the, uh, with the printer itself. So when you buy the printer, the rechargeable batteries come with it standard. So those are the rechargeable batteries. So our printer paper is installed and then we just press in the line feed here so I can feed the paper back through. So this is the brand new Sartorius YDP20 OCE printer. And again, I have this connected to a Sartorius balance already and to send data is simply a matter of either pressing the print key on the balance itself. So let me just uh, place this 500 gram weight on. I want to tear out the balance. And if I want to send the data, I just simply press the print key and it sends it over to the printer. And I can send it again and again and again. And on the printer itself, you can notice in the LCD that each time I send over the data, that LCD is incrementing. So right now it's incremented to four. The printer itself does have a print button so I can go get the data from the scale and send it to the printer by simply pressing the print key in the lower right hand corner. So you can see there's five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so each time on our printer, the printer, the way it is configured, will put, it will number each weight reading. So our paper is showing each time how many readings we have here. So you can see the first reading, number one, was 500 grams. The next reading, two, was 500 grams. Um, there's all kinds of statistical functions that also this printer offers. So the printer, unlike other printers on the market, uses a ribbon cable. Many other printers are thermal printers. And the problem with a the thermal printer is if you ever put this paper near anything hot or near the sunlight, those values, your, your critical weigh data disappears over time. So thermal printers are really out. And today it's all impact printer using a ribbon. Um, a little bit about the paper. This paper here is uh, 57.5 millimeters wide and it is sold in packs of five from Sartorius. This paper, it's not standard paper. We've had a difficult time trying to find this or we've never been able to find it in any um, office supply store. So the paper you do have to buy from Sartorius. One of the issues is this paper has, uh, most paper in the U.S. has a honeycomb core and this doesn't. So the paper, you can expect to just buy that from Sartorius. Uh, we spoke about how it comes with the ribbon cable and also the printer cable. Um, the printer is powered through the balance itself. So again, this printer only works with a Sartorius balance that's outfitted with an RS-232. If you are using this printer, with um, an explosion proof balance from Sartorius. There is uh, an optional AC adapter that you would have to purchase um, on the back here. 
you can see there is a spot for an AC adapter but again that AC adapter would only be used uh, if you were purchasing a Sartorius uh, explosion proof balance so if you have an explosion proof balance give us a call and we'll get you the right parts that you need um, for that so let me uh, talk a few more features now the printer can output up to 24 characters per line and it meets uh, GLP and GMP compliance um, so if you're in the pharmaceutical industry uh, you know for sure what those requirements are so let's go in and we'll do a calibration or let me first uh, press the stats here to get the stats from our readings so if you simply press the stat key the balance will output the statistics on all those readings and so here you can basically see we have nine readings 500 grams gives you the the average the min the mass the total the difference um, let's do a calibration and show you how the ISO uh, particularly works on this so to perform a calibration on this particular Sartorius balance I simply press and hold the tear key and the balance shows 500 so I put a 500 gram weight on the balance and the balance will beep and you will see that printer print out um, everything that you need if you're an ISO company so if I take a look at that uh, you can pretty much see that you have here the date the brand which is Sartorius, the model number which is an AZ601, the serial number is shown, the software version and it shows you the calibration was done externally and it was 500 grams and there is a spot for the operator to sign. So that's a nice uh, feature with this printer. Um, again, I'm trying to give you a quick example of what you can do with this printer. Um, if you had some items and you wanted to know exactly what the standard deviation was, the min and the max, um, we could, we'll say, weigh some quarters. Now, quarters will all weigh slightly different. So here's one quarter. It's 5.5 grams. If I sent the print, press the print button, it will send it to the balance. You can throw another one on. What I should do is... Um, I'm going to tear the balance, and then I'll throw another one on, hit the print, press the tear, hit the print, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get a pile of different read-ins where there'll be some slight variation on the weight. Now there is a configuration uh, for the printer itself that you can set it up so each time I put a coin on it would automatically tear the balance also. That is in the menu. I've decided not to use that feature right now for this demonstration. So I'm just throwing some quarters on. Just trying to get a pile of readings. We'll do one more so I'll have 10 readings all together. Okay, so now I have 10 readings and the printer shows the value of 10 right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the stats key and try to give you an example of the printout that we can get. So press it and hold the staff key. <clears throat> okay. And so what this printout is going to give us here, here we have the total amount of readings. Well, on the top again, we have, you can see the date, the model, serial number, and then we have each of the weigh-ins. So I was weighing a quarter and you can see we have 
5.5 to 5.7 grams. So we have 10 readings. And so here on the bottom you have the number of weigh-ins, which is 10. You get the uh, mean value, which would be 5.62. You get your standard deviation calculated, which is uh, 0 0.08 grams. And then you get a variation coefficient. You'd also get the lowest value recorded, which is uh, 5.5 here. The highest value, 5.7. The total weight of all the measurements, which was uh, 56.2 grams and then you finally at the very bottom here you're going to get the uh, difference between the high and the low reading which was 0.2 grams so you can get a lot of good data collected and no errors I mean the key with a printer is you're trying to eliminate any human error so this is our demonstration on the Sartorius YDP20 OCE printer and we have plenty of these in stock. If you have any questions, you can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. Thanks for watching this video.